Rumors of a popular Manhattan vegan restaurant are under arrest, accused of ripping off their workers and investors, taking them for nearly a million dollars, and police say junk food led them to the fugitives hundreds of miles away. CBS 2's Alana Gold has new details from courts. Sarma Mangela spent her day getting arraigned at Brooklyn Supreme Court, where she faced many of the former employees she's accused of failing to pay. Seeing her brought, brought back a lot, of, a lot of emotion. She and her husband, Anthony Stranges, are now charged with dozens of counts, including grand larceny, stemming from problems at the famed upscale vegan restaurant called Pure Food and Wine on Irving Place in Gramercy Park that's been shut down since July along with the one Lucky Duck juice bar around the corner that's also closed. Police say the husband and wife cheated 84 workers out of $40,000. Each lost roughly 3500 in pay starting in 2014. That's rent, all my bills paid, uh, food. Initially, the checks started to bounce, and we were suspicious. Uh, we, were, we were told lies about uh, switching banks and, and uh, uh, you know, routing uh, errors. Investigators tell us Mangalis, the primary owner, stole more than $840,000 from investors. She asked for money to keep the restaurants running and pay the workers. But police say instead she transferred those funds into her personal bank account. Mangalis and Strangis allegedly spent $2 million at Foxwoods Casino, Mohegan Sun, and luxury travel around the world. And according to prosecutors, she also owes $400,000 in taxes. But her attorney says she denies the allegations. Police say the two have been on the run with warrants out for their arrest. They tell us last week they traced one of their credit cards to a Domino's in Tennessee, where the couple that supposedly preached a healthy vegan lifestyle to customers, including celebrities, ordered a pizza for delivery. Authorities took the two into custody at a nearby hotel. Both suspects face a maximum of 15 years behind bars if convicted, and they'll be in front of a judge again in August. At Brooklyn Supreme Court, Ilana Gold, CBS 2 News. The workers who did not get paid are filing a civil suit against the owners, and the bond from Engalis is $350,000. Her husband has not yet been arraigned.